Alright, so today I'll be showing you how to update your iPhone 3G or 3GS on a iPad's uh, 6.15 baseband. Uh, because if you update it through uh, iTunes the traditional way, you'll get an error because of the iPad baseband change. Uh, the reason being you can't upgrade or downgrade that ba baseband as of now. So, uh, as you can see, this 3GS has a iPad's baseband, 6.15, <clears throat> and I will update it through iTunes and I'll show you the error that I'll get. Alright, so I just uh, finished restoring it through iTunes with the stock software, and I've got error 1015. And as you can see, iPhone is stuck in recovery mode. Uh, so let me show you how you'd fix that. Alright, so you want to open up Snow Breeze. Wait for that to open up. Yes. Click OK. Close credits. And you click the arrow. You download your firmware that you want to update to if you haven't already. And then go to Browse to select it. There you can see the firmware. 4.3.3, that's what I'm updating to. You open that, let it identify. Working on it. Alright, so next you select your boot ROM. I have the new one, or I don't know. Um, only difference is, as you can read right there, old boot ROM users have the ability to add custom logos. So if that doesn't matter to you and you don't know which one you have, just uh, select new boot ROM, or you can detect it for me. Just follow their directions. So I have the new one. It's verified. Click the arrow. And now this is the reason you came. This, uh, through this, you create a custom baseband, uh, custom ISPW that preserves your baseband. So uh, you can just use your basic baseband preservation mode, simple mode, or expert mode. I, I like simple mode. Click that, and you want hacktivation. And since I don't have AT&T, I have T-Mobile. I will select yes. I would like hacktivation, and. From this point, it works on creating your custom firmware for you. But uh, since I have already made it, uh, made my custom firmware, I'll cancel this to save time. So once it's done, you should have uh, Snow Breeze iPhone 3GS 4.3.3, and you will go to um, open up iTunes. You should re you should see your iPhone there and hold shift and click restore. That'll bring up the option to choose your firmware. Select Snowbreeze, your Snowbreeze firmware, open that up, restore, and sit back and watch it do its magic. I will uh, I'll be back when it's uh, completed. Alright, so here it is, uh, almost done. As you can see, you got the, uh, the snowflake. A 
restoring the firmware and it'll reboot All right, so there you go. You got the recovery with the uh, slide for emergency, but uh, since I added Hacktivate, yeah, there it goes, Hacktivated. And slide it open, and everything's there. Even Cydia, ready to go. So that is how you update your 3GS if it has a iPad's baseband. Um, yeah, ho hopefully uh, this helps some people out there, and uh, if you could please like this video, favorite it, uh, send it on to your friends, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.